Hello everyone, it's Nomad Flair here and welcome to another video. So for the past couple of months, I've been focusing on improving the aesthetics of my desk setup whilst maintaining an overall minimal look. So I've owned the PlayStation 5 for under a year now and I still don't feel satisfied with the white colored faceplates. Reason being, it just didn't complement my overall desk setup and it just stuck out like a sore thumb. Considering that black is my favorite color, I decided to replace my white PlayStation 5 controller with the Midnight Black Edition and removing my current PlayStation 5 faceplates and replacing them with the matte black plates. So you're probably thinking I went with the D brand plates, however, I decided not to due to the price and the long delivery wait times. So D brand are advertising their plates for $69 in their website with an estimated delivery time of February 2022, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. As an optimistic person, I decided to push my luck and order matte black plates from Amazon, which cost half the price of only £32.99. Just to add, PlayStation have recently released a trailer revealing their new PlayStation plates which are launching in January 2022 with a price tag of around $55 or £50 if you live in the UK. However, my option would still be cheaper so I decided to make the order. The package arrived the next day in a torn box, however, that didn't put me down because I was only concerned with what's in the box. Opening the box, we are presented with an informative instructions manual on how to remove existing plates and how to attach the new plates. I found this manual to be helpful, so don't go throwing it away if you do pick one up. Alongside this, we are also given a customer support card where you can contact the company if you are unsatisfied with your plates by reaching out via the email provided and a warranty card which you can register online. <laughs> Here we have the forward facing plate and to be honest, the finish is flawless. I was not expecting it to look as good as this. Fortunately, there are no scratches or blemishes, which is a good thing so far. At the back, we have the clips, which we attach onto the PlayStation 5. It truly has a smooth matte black look. And to be honest, guys, I truly can't get over the look. And now moving on to the back facing plate, which is larger and also has no scruffs or marks whatsoever. To be honest, the plastic material does feel quite durable. And again, we have the clips at the back. As I wanted my PlayStation 5 to resemble the original, I decided to order from eBay a PlayStation 5 logo sticker in black, which I will apply on the top left hand corner of the plate. This sticker also comes with a set of instructions on how to stick it correctly. The size of the stick is identically the same to the cutout logo on the original white PlayStation 5 plate. This cost me around $3.99 on eBay. Before removing the plates, we need to remove the bottom base. To remove the plate correctly, place your right hand at the top corner and lift whilst pushing downwards at the same time. Your left hand should prevent the PlayStation 5 from sliding downwards. Then grab the forward facing plate, place it onto the PlayStation 5 and push upwards with your right hand, you should hear a faint click. On the other side of the PlayStation 5, you just need to repeat the same process. However, you should switch hands, lift from the top whilst pushing downwards. Make sure that you clean your PlayStation 5 quite often because it does get quite dusty, which can hinder its performance in the long run. Then make sure that the back plate is facing the right way up and then place on top and push upwards to click in place. Now I'm going to line up the front facing plates next to each other so I can place the PlayStation 5 logo in the correct area. This can be quite tricky so do take your time. Once you are happy with the positioning, peel the sticker and slowly place it on the plate. Use your thumb to dab on the sticker evenly for about 10 seconds before removing the top layer. Then slowly peel the sticker and we are left with a beautiful looking logo. I am very happy with the overall finish. The sticker just adds the extra oomph. I highly recommend purchasing the sticker. Usually when you purchase the matte black plates, whether it's from D brand or Amazon, the logo is not provided. Okay guys, so that was the unboxing and installation of the beautiful, well worth it matte black plates, which were half the price of D brands. This has now improved the look of my setup and I highly recommend you do the same if you are interested. All the products I use today, I will link them down below. If you did make it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment stating matte black. Additionally, if you found today's video to be useful, then I would appreciate if you would nudge the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. It's not a game, it's a